All right, guys, here we are at the Casey Crawls headquarters. And in the last video, I talked to you about the Baofeng UV5R. I showed you the unboxing of it. And what I'm going to show you today is a little bit about how you program the thing. If you recall, I told you one of the cool things was you can get these radios they're really affordable. I get mine on Amazon. I've got four. Um, and all you need is a programming cable, the radio, of course, and a program on your computer called Chirp. Um, Chirp is a free download. If you search for it, I'm sure you can find it. And what's really neat is for, you know, let's just call it $30 plus the price of the cable. Uh, you could take this radio, download after you find all the channel assignments from Rugged Radio, and essentially you turn this thing into a Rugged Radio. Now, again, I don't know if you've noticed, but this radio, the Baofeng UV-5R, looks eerily similar to a Rugged Radio. I don't know. Go figure. I'm not suggesting anything. I'm just saying they look very similar. This one, you can get it less than $30 if you search for it. 30 max. Rugged Radio, it's this. It looks like this, but it's blue. What, $75, $80, $85? Uh, same, what is it, 5 watts as the Rugged Radio. I think that's what they are. Again, I don't have any experience with them because I've never used them. Um, but I do have three others of these. This is my newest one. And I'm going to program it now. So let's see how this works out. So you take your cable. Plug the cable into the radio just like that right there. I'm going to take my programming cable. And I'm going to plug that into my computer. And I am going to start my chirp utility. Come on. There we go. A new version of chirp. Is available I don't really care because my old one works just fine all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into radio I'm gonna download from the radio let's see if this thing works you got to tell it what port it's USB serial the vendor, it's a Baofeng UV5R. All that is okay. Okay. Turn radio off. Connect the cable. Make sure connector is firmly connected. It is. Turn the radio on. The volume needs to be near maximum. It says actually maximum. Ensure the radio is tuned to a channel with no activity. So we're in a metal building. There's no activity. Click OK to download the image. Let's see what happens. Cloning, cloning, cloning. All right. So here is what is in the radio, and to tell you the truth, I really don't care about that. Let's see if we could save as the Baofeng UV5R. Da da da. Okay, we're going. Go ahead and save it anyway. Okay. I'm going to close that image and I'm going to open 
the Baofeng UV5R RR.IMG. That stands for Rugged Radio. Open that. And it has got all the channel assignments. Here's even KOH1. KOH being king of the hammers for you off-road enthusiasts. And what is a little bit different on this one is channel 111 is a frequency that we use uh, that is uh, assigned to a friend of mine who has these radios on his farm. Uh, we went ahead and put, uh, put that on here. Um, and that's primarily the one we use when it's just our group talking. All right, so I've got this open. I'm going to come up here to radio and I'm going to select upload to radio and I'm going to check my port USB serial Baofeng UV5R that's all good and I'm going to click OK and it's going to it's going to tell me all that come on it's thinking There we go. Turn radio off, connect cable, connect it securely, turn the radio on, it is on. No activity, click upload, okay. Okay, cloning, cloning, cloning. Now, what I found is this thing is gonna give me an error in just a minute. I hadn't figured out why it does that. Maybe because there's a new version of Chirp, I don't know. But it's always successful in cloning. There you go. An error occurred. Upload finished, but the other settings could not be sent because the firmware version of the image does not match that of the radio. I have no idea what that means. Don't really care because I get all my channel assignments in the radio. So, I am going to click OK, and we're good to go. So I'm going to turn the radio to the, the ONOFF selector to the OFF position. I'm going to close that image file. I'm going to quit chirp. And there you have it. So, hopefully, let's see if you can see this. Alright, so I get my frequencies. I select VFO slash MR. And you get the actual labels of the radio. This is the program that's in it. Or, I want to go to our talk around channel, so I'm just, I know it's channel 111. So I'm going to put in 111, and it jumps right to that channel. So, there you go. Programming is complete. That radio is set up, and it was just that easy. Again, you need the Baofeng UV5R. You need a programming cable. You need Chirp installed on a computer. Um, and that's it. You can tinker around with it. There's plenty of uh, resources on the web. If you search for Chirp, you can find where it's a free download. Uh, and it's super easy to figure out. That's how you download the stuff to the radio. And you're off to the races. So that's it. Uh, hope you hope you learned something. Hope uh, hope maybe this will help you out on the trail. It's it's really a lot of fun to be able to talk to all your buddies on the trail, um, and uh, this is an easy way to do it. Uh, and uh, that's that's what our group does. So hope you learned something. Hope you like it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Click the bell. Thumbs up.
all that other you, you good YouTube stuff. And I'll see you on the trail. Thanks for watching.